Email marketing automation with MailChimp. So automations for email are one of the most powerful tools to help you sell more and to sell more consistently. And so email marketing is one of the top ways for us to sell for our business. So we get hundreds of signups to our email list every single day, and all those people receive an offer from us to buy something. And so you can set up a whole sequence. Someone signs up for a guide, masterclass, training, whatever it is. Maybe you send them a couple of emails of value. So just giving them more information, helping them at no additional cost. And then after those emails, you have additional emails that have some type of an offer. And with those, so you have people signing up every single day to your email list. And every single day, people are receiving offers to purchase something for your business. So this can really help with the consistency of having sales day in and day out for your products or services. One of the things to keep in mind with email marketing automation, it's not free, I don't think, on any email marketing software. So MailChimp, ConvertKit, what we use a lot, it's something you're gonna have to pay for. So in general, you can send one automated email. So someone signs up on your landing page for your training, you can automatically send them that one email that contains the training. You can't do a sequence with any of the free plans. So for MailChimp, you're going to need to upgrade to a paid plan to be able to send out emails like this. But honestly, it's one of the most powerful tools you can use to sell more for your business. So I highly recommend with MailChimp, with ConvertKit, or any other email marketing software. Why don't we hop on the computer and I'll show you how this works. So if you log into your MailChimp account, I already upgraded from the free plan and it's gonna look something like this potentially. And so you have create a website, add contacts. Down here, there is a start and automation section. But the thing is, there are two different automations that we're gonna go through. There is the kind of classic version, which is what this is right here. This is what the classic version looks like. And then we're gonna go through the customer journey, which is the newer way that MailChimp is doing this. So when you're watching this video, who knows, the classic version may have been phased out. But to get to the customer journeys or to get back to the uh, start an automation is really, really easy. So you can really get there from almost anywhere. So if you click on create, here's customer journeys. If you go to campaigns, create a campaign, here you go, customer journeys, or down below, automation. So there's a lot of ways you can get to the right page. You can click on start building. This is gonna be the newer customer journey. If you have a little create button at the top right here, you have both options. So you see customer journey and classic automations. I'm gonna run you through the classic automations first. It's fairly straightforward. Well, both of them are fairly straightforward. I'm gonna put timestamps down below on the video. So if you're not interested in the classic automations, you can skip ahead and see the customer journey one as well and not have to go through this. Here we are at the beginning of it. So what we're gonna do is, what is it that is going to kick off the automation? So let's say when a subscriber is tagged. So here we are, so campaign name, so coffee sub. So we're gonna talk about coffee today because if you saw my previous video on how to create a landing page with MailChimp, we created a guide for brewing methods. And so this is the email sequence that would be sent out after someone signed up on that landing page. So campaign name, begin, and then from here, okay, so when it starts, tag a contact, trigger. But the thing is, this is one day after the tag. What we would generally do here is someone signed up for a guide. They don't want to wait an entire day to get whatever that is. And so what we're going to do here is choose immediately. And then so you're going to say, which is the tag that is going to kick this off? And so if we say best coffee guide and then say update trigger. So that's what if that's someone signs up on the landing page, the tag is added when someone signs up, then this is gonna kick off this sequence. You can schedule it every day, all day. You can, there's some additional filters you can add as well. Then the next step is to design an email. This video is not about copy for email, so we're just gonna go through the entire process. If you want me to talk more about copywriting for email, write copywriting down below in the comment section. So, coffee, guide. So this would be the first email delivering the guide from me, from my email, next. And then so you can choose a template. A lot of times I just send stuff through written in, with simple text and not having a bunch of design. And then so here you can essentially go through, edit any of this text. This bold, larger font, I don't generally like, so I would delete that. 
you know, maybe, you know, move this up to the other section. Okay, and then if I wanted to change this, it could be, here's your guide. Okay, and then so make this a link. Okay, so I'm not, I don't actually have a coffee guide, obviously, but you get the idea. So we can save and continue. If this was the entire email, save and continue. So this one is sent immediately. If I want to add another email, you just go and click on. So this is the, this classic version is what you can do with the, the free plan for MailChimp. So we have a basic tutorial for beginners that kind of goes through how to do that as well. And so this would be the second email. You know, I can go through design this. So we can just leave it all the same. I'm not going to write, please check entry and try on your subject. Um, so we're going to send people like coffee quiz to see what kind of coffee they like. Then again, choose the template and then it's going to give you, you know, the same text again. We're just going to send them this email. But so as you can see here, I can go through, add another email, add another email. You know, you can make it as long as you want. This is the classic automations. The next, so this is the audience. This is tracking, tagging a contact when they have this tag. Uh, it doesn't like this because I haven't actually edited the text for that email. Let's just start over because I don't really like using this one. Exit without starting. Okay, so let's go back to automations and then start building. So now this is the customer journey. So coffee guide sequence, start building. This doesn't have to be linear like the last one, one email, another, you have a lot of other things you can do here. So again, what you're gonna do is choose what is the starting point. So what we would do here again, so there's a ton of different options. So abandoned cart, if someone buys a specific product, if someone signs up their birthday, you know, there's a, a, lo a lot of different options that you can choose for kicking off a sequence. We're gonna go with the same thing of someone signs up for a landing page, a tag was added, and then it kicks off this sequence. Best coffee guide, save starting point. Okay, so that is what's going to start the sequence. Now, what do we wanna do here? The first thing we would do is they just signed up and they want their guide. So if I click on this, you're gonna see that this looks fairly similar, some of the different steps. So what we're going to see is we have, you know, we can give this a name. So coffee guide email, then we can say subject. We can edit that. So here's your coffee guide. And then again, you're choosing the template. Next, you see all these screens essentially look the same. Let's get rid of the bold. And then here, let's edit. Here's your guide. Let us know which is your favorite. And then again, so we would add a link. So the thing is here, you, what I was doing before is, is a web address, but you can also upload a file and send them the, the document just by clicking the link. Or, you know, here, let's just send people to our homepage. Save and close. And then up here, you're going to see save and return to journey. So now someone signs up, they got their first email immediately. So what's a little bit different here is, so for example, they have a time delay. And so this was something you kind of set up within each of the emails. You essentially just drag something over to where these plus symbols are whenever you want to add something new. So the, the second email we may send in this, if I click on this, do I, maybe not a week later, maybe I want to send the second email one day later. Okay, and then so what I'm going to do again is drag another send email here. And then to say, but I'm not going to worry about this, select template, let's go to simple text. So maybe here I'm saying, um, find your favorite R quiz. And so again, you know, send them to a link with our quiz. This doesn't actually exist, but you get the idea. 
and then save and continue. And then again up here, save and return to journey. Okay, so we have email one, time delay of a day, email two. So why don't I go through some of the other things? So if, if someone went through the sequence and you want to add a different tags, so someone that gets to this point, you could say tag, so best people. So people went through this are great, so add that tag after they've received these two emails. You could have someone, if they went through a specific sequence, unsubscribe. You know, one of the things here that doesn't have to make this linear like what we saw before is this if else. So what we could do here, let's say, if whatever this condition was yes, one thing happens, and if it's no, something else. So this could work really well if you're trying to send a sequence of emails with an offer, but to people who are not are your client. So as this example, we're selling a coffee subscription like Trade Coffee with something that I subscribe to, but maybe you don't wanna send the offer for someone who has already subscribed to this coffee subscription. So if you had a tag in MailChimp that said subscriber, so coffee subscriber, then you may want to end the sequence. So you're not giving them an offer. But if they're not already a client, then you're gonna send them over here and then maybe have a sequence of, of things. So like you want your clients to be able to receive the coffee guide, it's something you're giving away for free, but you don't wanna send them an offer when they're already a client. And so you have to change the condition. So what we would maybe say here, there's a ton of different things. I encourage you to kind of go through this at your leisure and figure out the different ways that you can kind of segment the audience, send them different messages. There's a lot you can do here. So what I could do here is say tags and then contact is tagged. What I created here was essentially active and inactive. So this could be someone who was a customer before, but they're not a current customer. So you may want to segment that within your audience. And then a coffee subscription, active subscriber. So if we say that, you know, that tag. So if they have the coffee subscription active, yes, contact exit. If they are not subscribed to the service, then what we're going to do is send them more emails. So what we could do here, for example, if we maybe want to give them some time before we figure out if they're a client or not, maybe. And so this past a week, then check, hey, have they bought from us or not? Um, if they haven't, then send this email. Then again, here we may want, say, another time delay, another week later, then send them you know, this particular email. So let's say this was the, the entire sequence. So someone signs up for the guide, got one email, waited a day, got another email. We added a tag because they were part of the sequence. Waited another week, figured out if they're a customer. If they were, they left. If not, here are three emails over, you know, or two emails, one email, and then a week later, another email for an offer for our coffee subscription. If we were all set with this uh, customer journey, then click on continue. It's going to give me some errors right now. Let's you just wait there. I'll go and fix this. Okay. So I updated all of those emails now. Let's see if I can continue. Okay. So now MailChimp wants to know what is the sequence about? And so for this, let's say sell stuff and turn on the sequence. Automated sequence set up and ready to start sending. If you want to learn more about MailChimp, check out the playlist right here. If you want to learn more about email marketing in general, including ConvertKit, our favorite email marketing software, check out the playlist below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.